Hi folks, welcome back to the Model 3 Man channel and another in the series, Pimp My Model 3. Copyright. I live in North Vancouver. It's a beautiful place. It rains a lot. Sometimes it snows a lot. And when you mix the rain and the snow and warmer temperatures, you've got the messiest town you've ever seen. Melted snow mixed with mud and salt and unfortunately it gets into our cars. It gets all over the place. Now you may remember if you've been looking through my back catalogue, I tested the Tesla floor mats and what I've discovered over about nine months of use is that they're great in the summer. They're great when you have a, a little bit of rain, not a whole lot of stuff happening. But they don't stop the dirt from moving off onto the carpet, so it kind of spreads out. I was recently given the opportunity to test some floor mats by Thorasla, and we're going to look at those today. I'm going to take out the Tesla mats, I'm going to clean the car first, get everything looking good, and after that we'll put these in and I'll have a look at whether they're suitable for the kind of environment we live in here. You can hear my voice is a little croaky. I lost it some weeks ago and it's coming back very slowly. So no shouting today. Let's just unbox quickly here using our famous unboxing knife. That one. And make sure I don't cut myself. So put this away. And uh, let's have a look what we have here. So this is a single continuous uh, mat for the rear passenger area. As you can see, it's one continuous piece. A little bit bent because it was in the box, but that'll straighten out. And I do notice right away, the difference between the Tesla mats that I have is I've got a nice big lip on the edge here. This is going to contain water, snow, melting snow, mud, whatever else. And then of course um, a bunch of little panels that'll direct the water into the grooves. So we'll put that aside for now. And then we have obviously a mat for each of the front passenger and driver's seat. And this one looks like the one that goes in the driver's side because there's the place for the footrest. So the driver footrest would go underneath that. What I do like, this actually covers the footrest. In the Tesla mats, it goes up to the base and all the crap leaks over the edge and goes down. So fine in a dry environment, but not good in a wet, rainy, snowy environment. So there's the driver's side. And um, clearly a passenger side, that's it there. Again, with the same matching patterns and grooves, it's rubbery. It has a bit of grip to it, uh, very flexible. But I can see that this, the wall on that side, the wall on that side are definitely going to keep a lot of the, the water in. This is tilted up at an angle to stop anything going over the front edge. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go outside, take out the Tesla mats, give it a good cleaning, and then we'll be able to put these in place. And then we're still in winter with the threat of snow coming up. I'll have plenty of opportunity to test them and give you some feedback later on. So once again, I'm here at my favorite filming location, the Hillside Church parking lot. And we have the sum total of one vehicle here today, and that's Red Dragon. Let's take a look at the existing floor mats, the Tesla mats, and see how well they've protected the carpet and the surroundings. So as you can see here, the Tesla mats are very nice and thin and uh, lightweight, but they don't have much of a lip here or here to prevent crap and stuff from going over. If you have a look here, you can see that there's all kinds of stuff that doesn't stay on the mat it gets brushed over the top the tesla mat actually ends right here so your footrest all the dirt comes down and it slides underneath there and you can see that the new ones they cover the footrest completely and we'll see what a difference that is going to make so what we're going to do take the mats out vacuum the whole thing clean it up and then i'm going to install the new ones and we'll see what a difference it makes
Well, I must say that the mat in the driver's side went in very easily. It fitted perfectly on all four sides. It was beautiful the way it went right over the footrest. Uh, Everything was very well tailored and I couldn't complain about the fit at all. On the passenger side, you can see a bit of a gap on the right hand side. The left hand was pretty snug, a little bit of a bend, but that was part of the way it was packed. I think the right hand side is also due to the way that it was packed and I think that'll go away over time. As far as the back of the car was concerned, I loved the way that that single rear mat fitted. With the Tesla mats, it was two pieces that joined together and frequently came apart. With this one here, it goes right up the middle, fits in underneath the central console. It's one piece. It fits very snugly on all of the sides. I think it was just beautiful. Returning the seats, and that was the job done. And just to wrap everything up, I think that to call the Tesla mats all-weather mats is a bit of a misnomer. They really are not. In North Vancouver, where I live, we expect to have a lot of rain. We expect snow occasion, and then we have salt on the road. So honestly, the Tesla all-weather mats just were not all-weather. And the ones that I tested today by Far Asla are a big improvement. I love the fact that the rear seats are one single flat piece. They do not have a join in the middle which frequently comes apart. I love the fact that on the driver's side we have a cover over the footrest which means dust and dirt from your feet don't slide down and go underneath the mat as they do with Tesla mats. I really believe the Tesla should have two options. The regular mats for places that have mostly good weather and occasional rain and all weather mats that are truly all weather not just in name much higher walls and they don't have them at the moment i can recommend these uh, save yourself some money they're already cheaper than the tesla mats go down use the link below if you need mats these are good ones i'm sadly having to retire The Tesla all-weather mats, I'm not going to keep them in the car. They haven't done a good job of protecting the surrounding carpet. and The dirt and dust always got over there. We'll try these. I'll run them for several months. I'll give another report back later on. But as of now, I'm very optimistic. By the way, thank you for supporting the channel. It's great to watch the number of subscribers grow now that I'm back into regular uploads. If you've not yet subscribed and you just stumbled in, you walked into this video or others, please stick around, subscribe, hit the notify button, make sure you get to know of the other episodes that we're going to be covering. In addition to that, for those of you, and I know that there are many of you out there that are contemplating buying a Tesla, there are so many things to consider, but one of those is to make sure you use the referral code of an owner. That referral code gives you a thousand miles or 1500 kilometers of free supercharging, but you must place the code at the time of the order. I know this video is relatively short. That's probably going to be the pattern going forward. More videos, more frequently, not quite so long as they were in the past. So until next time, watch your back, look out for your car. If you haven't got a Tesla, think about it a little bit harder. And we'll see you next time.